What is up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This reading is for Cancer Zodiac Sign. Guys, just remember this is a general reading, so this may not resonate. Energies are fluid and interchangeable, so they can cross if you need to. Please flip them. Sorry for the late upload, guys. Let's see. We're going to dive right in. What's the overall energy of Cancer Zodiac Sign for this week? Family. Overall energy is family. This could have to do with siblings, friends, people that... Um, that make you happy happiness on the bottom of the deck people that make you happy this could be your children your lover your loved one you know a family member mother father sister brother that type of energy so i see that following you uh this week now clarify this energy for cancer please what's going on with cancer this week we have the ten of pentacles okay so feeling abundant feeling very abundant feeling very successful uh, feeling like you have it all, basically, with this Ten of Pentacles. Let me turn this just a little bit. Hold on, guys. Okay, there we go. Clarify the energy of Cancer for this week. The Eight of Swords. Okay, clarify the energy for Cancer, please. This week. Nine of Cups. Okay, so really it's just you being in your head this week, Cancer. Okay, Ace of Pentacles, bottom of the deck. There's going to be like a... Um, you're going to be kind of stepping back and reevaluating things only because I feel like you're going to have a lot of confusion or a lot of blockages this week with this eight of swords energy coming out here. Okay. With this energy, you may be feeling mixed up, maybe trying to figure out how to balance um, your family, your friends, your um, children, your loved ones, plus um, how to get what it is that you want, which is the nine of cups. Right. Um, so I just feel like maybe take some time this week to step back and um, open yourself up to your own happiness, okay? Because I feel like you are going to be very busy with doing things for other people, doing things for um, other friends and family and individuals. <coughs> Excuse me, guys, I'm sorry. And I feel like you taking care of yourself may get lost in the mix this week. So just make sure you're refocusing and recalibrating to spend some time with yourself, okay? It's okay to take uh, an hour or two to yourself, whether it's, you know, going in the bathroom, running you a bubble bath, soaking, and um, enjoying yourself, relaxing, things like that. Whenever you get a chance is what I'm getting for you. Uh, this here will open up a brand new start or a brand new opportunity for you as well with this Ace of Pentacles. Um... And this Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. There it is. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, that's exactly what I was feeling. You needing to really just take some time to yourself. Be selfish a little bit. Okay? Um, because I feel like, again, you have a lot here with this Ten of Pentacles energy. You have a lot here. And this is the Abundant card. So this the Abundance represents so many different things for different people. Okay? It can represent money. It can represent abundance as far as love. Spiritual abundance. You know, um... Abundance like a baby, you know, children and loved ones, things like that. But with the family card being here, this is just letting me know you have all of that. You have all of these beautiful things, blossoming things. But with this Eight of Swords being in between the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles, this does tell me that there's a little, um, a little confusion or a little blockage of how to balance out both things here. So just make sure... As you're giving love and enjoyment, especially with the happiness card here, love and enjoyment to your family and to others and, and giving and helping and um, supporting because this is also the support card. Maybe you're giving out money that maybe you should spend on yourself, you know, maybe um, you're giving your money to your friend. Maybe your friend needs help or a family member needs help or your lover needs help or something like that. Or even your children. Spending money on children. You're supposed to be going to shop for yourself, but you end up spending money on your kids. Just make sure you're spending time and money and things for yourself. Don't forget about you, okay? Let's see. What other messages do you want to give cancer for this week? What other messages do you have for cancer this week? So you have a lot of happiness here. Yeah. The sun card. Open your heart to the enormous growth ahead. See, brand new opportunities. Feeling very happy, very fulfilled here. The plane. A journey is indicated either physically or metaphorically. Your life will become more full. Again, this is just the journey that I'm getting is with this confusion here is how to balance things out or how to spend time with yourself, on yourself, and 
um, also balancing out spending time with your family members and things like that. It, just remember, it's okay to sometimes be selfish, okay? Because when you're the best version of you and you're healthy and you're happy and you're vibrant, when you bring that energy towards your family members, they get the best version of you, which makes them happy and healthy and vibrant, okay? So remember to spend time on yourself as well. Uh, let's see. What about love messages? All right, what love messages do you have for cancer? Okay, they're giving you two. Hold on. One just popped out. Hold on, guys. Okay. So these two, we have this one here, and it says, time. You are trying too hard. Give it time, okay? Time is important. Is so important, okay? Um, for you, you could be dealing with, um, again, the situation where maybe you and this other person, uh, maybe you've smothered them too much or they've just smothered you too much and you just need some time apart. So just give it some time. Take some time to yourself, okay, as well. And then we also have this card here, and it says friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship, and your love life will dramatically improve. Again, friendship, okay, is here. And don't forget to be friends with yourself. You know, enjoying time with yourself is what I'm getting for you. Uh, there's a lot of happiness and abundance here. It's just there's a blockage or there's some type of uh, confusion here with this Eight of Swords. Um, in between the Ten of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. And the Nine of Cups is your wishes, your dreams, your desires. And the Ten of Pentacles is money as well, but it's abundance. So I just feel like with this family being the leading card, just remember to take time to yourself, okay? Uh, spend time with friends, you know, enjoy friend-like friend, uh, friend -like activities. You know, if it, maybe if you're up under your lover too much, give some space and some time between you and your lover and spend more time with your friends or spend more time with yourself, whatever you need to do. But I see a lot of happiness happening for you this week, Cancer. I do feel that things are going to be okay. All right, just maybe a little hiccup here and there in the week. Um, but I do see you overcoming it and getting past it, okay? But this is your reading, Cancer. I hope this gives you some clarity and some insight. I appreciate you so much for watching. And we'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.